What's up guys? Welcome back. Today is going to be testing the new Cruise Chanel collection. I don't really like to say that in order. I really kept up with Chanel collections a ton, but um, this one, I really liked it because it was neutral. So I purchased four things. We'll see how they work. I haven't even opened them up. I got the package last night. I got two glasses, the quad and the bronzer duo which I don't know if I'm gonna like this, but we'll see. Then I wanted to test out the new water, fresh water tints, which are amazing. This doubles as a primer or like a nice sheer to light coverage. And I just think it makes your skin look really, really good. I have it in the medium plus, and I also got the deep. The deep is a little bit too dark, so I sent that one back. And I'm just gonna use this one, which this one might be too light, so I don't know. Start out with a pore primer. I'm gonna use the Pores No More from Dr. Brandt. Pretty badass. And I already did my brows, which is probably not a great thing. Okay, I love this primer. So I'm just gonna wear this. This is the texture of it. It's really liquidy, and then it's cool because like the little bits in here kind of burst open on to your face. I don't, this is the brush that it comes with. I don't know if I'm crazy about the brush. I'm gonna use this, uh, I'm gonna use this Huda brush. And I don't know how this would work with a beauty blender. Has anyone used it like that before? But I feel like this is a pretty good match. Oh, it's so pretty. You definitely actually, I feel like oh, the tanner I get, sorry, this drop's really annoying. I feel like I would be able to use the dark figures, but that is like the first application. It's extremely, Oh, this is gonna be annoying. It's really nice just to kind of give your skin like your skin but better type look. Like it's your skin but a little bit blurry or blurred, I guess I should say. But even building it up, I think I might have to get the dark Ugh, or re-get the dark. I'm such an idiot. I just felt like I almost look like tan mom. So I just didn't want to um, mess with it. I'm gonna get a few more areas with this Magic Away Concealer from Charlotte Tilbury. Just some troubled areas. There's not gonna be like super full coverage, but that's okay. And I'll go ahead and do the under eyes as well. And I'm gonna use some catnap. I almost said catnip. I'm gonna put that underneath your I'm also gonna use it as a primer. This catnip stuff is really nice. It brightens up the area so well. If you have minimal dark circles, you could probably just use this and call it a day. I don't have that kind of luxury, but um, I think I'm gonna need to get the darker version of this though. This might be a little bit light, but we will see. I like this. This um, normally probably on, like if I was going out <clears throat> and if it was like a night out out, I would probably use a foundation over this and use this as a primer. But if it was like during the day and we had like fun stuff to do, I would be fine using this. I'm gonna set my foundation using the La Prairie because this is a bougie video, so why not? and just set right under my eyes, but I'm not gonna set anything else because we'll use the bronzer. Bronzer, this is the, uh, let's see, bronzing duo. Bronzering and highlight, highlighting duo in light. Um, that is a bronzer. Oh, hell no. Hell no. This is like a fucking powder or even a freaking highlighter. This is not a bronzer, those bitches. Okay, look how light this is. That would not even show up on like a really fair person, but we're gonna go ahead and try it. Maybe I should have gotten the dark. Oh, I just, 
underestimate my darkness sometimes. I'm just gonna dig into both. That's what the powder kind of looks like. Oh, I guess there is some pigmentation, but certainly not enough to call this a bronzer. Yeah, this is like bullshit. But even if I was at my lightest, this would not show up. Yeah, I'm not even gonna waste energy. This is a no. I don't like that, so I'm just gonna go over it with my um, hourglass and just kind of deepen this up a bit, but maybe I will go back and use it as a highlighter. So, I mean, oh. For blush, let's just keep it with Chanel. This is like a newer blush from Chanel. This is the Tweed Beige. So I feel like that would be super pretty for like any type of bronzy look. I like this, this is this is a must. I don't know if I've reviewed this. I know I hauled it, but it's super good. I don't even think this highlighter is gonna show up. Oh, such a bummer. Okay, so then the next thing I got, I purchased both of the Rouge Coco glosses and I love these colors. So this is the shade Aurora. I can never say that word. And then, I don't know how to pronounce that. It starts with an F, it's in French. Look at how gorgeous those are. So they're super sheer. Um, you're not gonna even be able to tell. So I'm gonna use this blue one. Hmm. I mean, I don't like love that either. Let me put this one over it and let's see. This one has a little bit more color. They feel really nice. They feel like kind of like a bomb and a gloss in one. So um, that's kind of cool how it just is very like slippery but not super sticky, not like the old Glossomers. These, unless these aren't even Glossomers, yeah. These are moisturizing, oh, no wonder. So, um, but they're clear. So is it worth like a $30 gloss? I don't, I don't know. I don't know if it would be. Um, but I do like the way that it feels on my lips. So we'll just let it, sit there for a while and see how it goes. The last thing, I hope this fucking works out, is the Naturals. Oh my gosh, this is so pretty. So what I love about this is that it has two mattes. And this one is like a really pretty kind of khaki green color. So let's just see how these perform. Um, you're not gonna be able to tell. The, they're, it's pigmented, but buildable. So let's just, let's just, see how this works. This, the lightest shade right here and put that in my crease. That is a really light, nice matte shade. I really like this gloss though. Oh my gosh, it feels so good on my lips. Mm. All right, so I'm just go ahead and gonna deepen it up with this darker khaki shade, a little bit darker. Same brush. And I'm just gonna concentrate that on the outer part. These um, apply, this quad applies really nicely. Like. So I'm gonna use that bronzer shade. This one's really pigmented and I'm gonna put this on the lid. Oh, that was easy. This is super nice. Um, really gorgeous. Oh God, this fucking strap. Really nice and gorgeous. I'm just gonna use this really, I don't know, I think this is a, such a fun color. I'm really gonna take my finger and I'm just gonna dab it on the inner part. Ooh, this applies really nicely too. Mm. Super nice. Roach from Urban Decay. And I'm sure they don't mean the insect. Oh yeah. I 
I'm gonna use the Pat McGrath Fetish Eyes. I feel like this is such a quick video, maybe because I wasn't talking about a ton of stuff, but I'll be back again with like more products to review. So overall, I highly, highly recommend this. I actually think I'm gonna go get the, repurchase the deep. I think that this is a hair too light for me right now and I'm only gonna get more tan because I become like sun obsessed in the summer. I know it's probably like skin cancer, but it's like yellow, whatever, I don't care. Yeah, so I highly recommend this. I think that it is such a great foundation. It's about time I feel like Chanel came out with something that was decent in the foundation department. It's been a swing and a miss for like 10 years. So then um, I would absolutely pass on this bronzer. I don't think that this is worth anything, especially the price tag, uh, because you don't get any color payoff with it at all. So, um, yeah, this that is not worth it. The glosses are actually really nice. I just don't know if it's worth $30. Like, can we find a moisturizing lip gloss for around 15 bucks? Yes, probably. So if you are a huge Chanel fan, if you love their glossomers, you're gonna like this because there's absolutely no stickiness. It's just very moisturizing, but stays on the lips with like a teensy, teensy hint of color. So um, these are good. I'm actually really impressed with like the Glossomer line and how they've kind of revamped that from way back when. And then lastly, I if you are a neutrals lover, you will love this quad. I do think that it is, it's got really great color payoff. I love how there's mattes. I love how they're, ugh, I love that you can use this product um, all together. Like you can get multiple looks with this because there are mattes in here and you don't have to reach for a separate palette in order to complete the look if you want to matte in your crease. That I think is amazing. So good on Chanel for that. I do think that that is worth it. And everything else that I've mentioned, obviously <laughs> worth it. Let me know what you guys think. If you have any like questions or whatever, I hope you guys enjoy this video and I'll see you next time. Bye.